Hello everybody, welcome back to Drunken Sailor. I'm Bill, your Drunken Sailor, and we are preparing an interesting cocktail today. It's uh, It dates back to the 1930s. Uh, really, right, probably right around Prohibition. It wasn't published until 1937, and it was published in the Royal Cafe Cocktail Book. This cocktail is a little bit of a daiquiri, a little bit of a whiskey sour kind of mix, but just an ever little bit of tiki twist, so I think you're going to like this one. So let's get pouring. We are going to take and make this in a shaker, and as I said, this is reminiscent of a whiskey sour first. First ingredient is going to be in there is an egg white. Crack the egg white first, and that way you make sure you don't have any yolk in your cocktail. And we're using nice fresh eggs right from the backyard. Next is going to be some freshly squeezed lime juice. We're using fresh because you know fresh is best. One half ounce. My next ingredient in there is going to be a rich Damara syrup. That's a, a turbinado or Damara sugar. Uh, two parts sugar, one part water. And we're going to use one half ounce. If you try this and you want it a little bit sweeter, you can always bump up that sugar in there. Now this is what gives it our tiki twist. Our next ingredient here is allspice dram. And for a long time this kind of disappeared from the U.S. Um, you can make yourself uh, your allspice at home. I'll actually put a recipe in our, uh, in our description. Or it is commercially available. And we are going to put in there one half ounce of allspice dram. Now the part that really uh, takes a left turn from the daiquiri or the tiki kind of cocktail is we're going to use bourbon. And today we're using Maker's Mark, um, two ounces. To finish it off in there, two dashes of Angostura bitters. And now we're going to give a dry shake. That's going to break down the egg. It's going to emulsify it. It's going to give a lot of body and texture to the cocktail. Good dry shake. Once you've gotten that egg broken down and built up into there, we're going to put in some ice to chill it down. One more shake to chill. We've got what we need in there. Now, we take our old fashioned, or our rocks glass, put some ice in there. Now all we've got left to do is strain it and garnish it. A lot of really good fragrances in there. Now I'm going to take my Lime twist, put that over the top, put a cocktail straw in there, and there you have the lion's tail.